Jeep was launching the world's first four-door Wrangler. They wanted a campaign that would convey that, one that would truly say they had something new. The new species was officially launched at the New York Auto Show and was an immediate hit. Absolutely the coolest car ads in a long time, says Ad Age. A new species from Jeep breaks through the clutter of conventional automotive advertising, says Ad Week. Brochures from the Auto Show even appeared on eBay. A television campaign was launched to further introduce the species to the public. Wanting to infest the areas where people worked and lived, we unleashed them into the city. From out of the subways of New York they spread, onto buildings, walls, and storescapes, even into bars. There simply was no containing them. A total of eight major markets across the U.S. were infested. Newspapers and magazines were also a breeding ground and continued to educate people about the new species. As public interest in the campaign grew, an 18-city species tour was launched. An actual Wrangler Unlimited with gear on top was placed in a large jar. People were then able to get a closer look at what the species had to offer. Media coverage for the campaign ranged from various newspaper articles to countless blog sites around the world. It even generated interest from General Motors. As the official vehicle sponsor for Major League Baseball, General Motors wanted the species wall in Detroit taken down because of the constant attention it received during broadcasts of Tiger baseball games. In all, there were over 40 different media outlets through which the new species campaign was executed. It was an undeniable hit. Jeep sold more Wrangler Unlimiteds in its first two months than any other two-month period in the history of Wranglers. In fact, the Wrangler Unlimited outsold the entire line of Chrysler brand vehicles in September and October of 2006. To date, the new species campaign has produced the most successful vehicle launch the Jeep brand has ever experienced.